I think he was able to do it. I just don't think he wanted to. I just think this is all part of his charade. This referring to himself in the third person, trying to distract him or, or detract himself, I should say, from the events, taking absolutely no responsibility. It's the act of a narcissistic coward. Those words have been used here today and nothing could be further from the truth. He is a coward. He ran like a scared little chicken from this parade, trying to slither away in the dark of night, but only to stop long enough and try and take advantage of good citizens that would help him. He calls and lies to his mom, right? Get me an Uber. I can't get into it. He lies to the officers repeatedly. We saw the time of his arrest. We heard the testimony from Daniel Ryder, a good man with good intentions and a good heart who took this murderer into his home and held him there long enough for the police to come and take him away without any knowledge whatsoever of what had gone on. He takes advantage of everyone. He's extremely manipulative. He absolutely thinks he's in control of everything. When in fact, as he sits here in custody, he's in control of nothing except for his own behavior. Mr. Brooks, be quiet. Except I'm, I'm for not going to sit here and be disrespected. Mr. Brooks, be quiet. I'm not going to sit here and be disrespected. These are sentencing arguments and they can make them. So I could do the same thing? Mr. Brooks, there's nothing disrespectful. They are doing it in yes, a respectful way. Yes, it is. Okay, way. call me out of my name again. Go ahead, Tony Opper. Judge, the, these are the facts. You heard from so many of these parents and so many of the people that were there of that fight or flight, right, that kicked in. He ran. 